Well, welcome to the Chapel of Our Lady of Walsingham. And over there you'll see, here's the statue of Our Lady of Walsingham. It's, it's our uniquely English uh, appearance of the Blessed Virgin Mary many, many years ago, 12th century actually, and it exists to this very day. And I'm very blessed because I'm the one non-brick guardian at the Shrine of Our Lady of Walsingham. And so I'm very, very fond of thinking about the role that she's played in our unique Anglican expression. This happens to be the chapel at Dovehaven too. And our first house, bishops' houses all have names. Our first house in Peoria, Illinois, whereas diocese bishop was simply Dovehaven. But this is Dovehaven too, because when we moved from Illinois to Texas, of course, the question was, what's your house gonna be? You wonder why it's called that, right? It's because we're praying and praying and praying, and one day looked outside in Illinois, right after I became a bishop, and lo and behold, the backyard had doves all over the place. Now, the other neighbors didn't have that. And the dove is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. So my dear wife of 53 years said, well, you know what? This looks like a possibility. And the next thing you know, Dove Haven was born. And in England, you'll notice that residences or manors retain the name of the property even after it's sold or it gets passed down to somebody else. So Dove Haven too is right here. This altar means a lot to me because I served at this altar when I was a teenager. And it's on this altar that my dear wife, 53 years ago, placed her flowers after we were pronounced husband and wife, man and wife, and a friend of mine sang Ave Maria, because this was the altar that was in the uh, chapel of St. Mary at the church where we were members and where we were married in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, not far from the University of Pittsburgh, UK University, and Carnegie Mellon, as it's called today. So, very special meaning to us. Everything in here has meaning to us. The windows are 19th century windows from Germany that were in a German church that a friend of mine found. And our son and two daughters made sure that this church, this chapel, would look like a church in Pennsylvania where I was blessed to be the priest, the rector, for 13 years, a place called, you guessed it, St. Mary's Church. And so here we are here today, and I celebrate Mass here almost every day, especially during this pandemic. So I hope that maybe you'll take a moment out and pray for Carol, because Carol has prayed in here with us many times. Thank you, Bishop.